What's up, beautiful people? Losing Drea here. And today is the last day of December. December to remember, aka Vlogmas Day 31 of 31. I'm coming to you guys with another video. Hey guys, what's up? Drea here. I'm um, coming to you guys with the last video for 2019. I can't believe how this year has just flown right on by. But um, out with the old, in with the new, as they say. I'm not going to make any New Year resolutions or anything like that because I really don't believe in all that kind of stuff. It was January 8th, 2017 when I started my ketogenic journey. Uh, I had just happened to have found a video from Dr. Eric Westman. He was doing one of his clinical trials, and it was over an hour long, and he was speaking about this page four. If it's not on page four, don't eat it. If it's not on page four, don't eat it. And as much as I could hear that, I kept saying, well, i got to find this page four. Well, tear in my mouth. In my search, I eventually did find a page four. Whether or not it's Dr. Westman's page four, I can't tell you for sure. I never paid to see his actual page four from out of his book. So I followed a couple other people that I found through Dr. Eric Westman. Casey Durango was one of them. And I believe it was on her website that I found such page. Well, I followed that for quite a long time. And what ended up happening while I lost a bunch of weight in the beginning is eventually I plateaued to where I could go up a couple pounds, bring it back down, go up a couple pounds, bring it back down, and I flip-flopped around for a mighty long time with the weight that I was comfortable with. And when I say weight that I was comfortable with, well, if you go back in my channel and you go to my very, very first video here on my channel, you will see that I actually started my journey October 2nd, 2011, but it wasn't with keto. So I tried a bunch of things in between. I did vegan, vegetarian, pollo pescatarian, which is chicken and fish, but not red meat. Um, I didn't do dairy. I started uh, drinking almond milk from the time that I tasted it and knew it wasn't going to kill me because there, for a long time I was afraid to drink that stuff. And somebody told me I was actually drinking soy milk in my smoothies that I used to have when I used to go and get them from Smoothie King. And... Um, and then they started taking the Smoothie Kings away, and I stopped doing all that. Well, anyways, I'm not going to make this a really long video because I'm sitting here with a major headache. I did cheat last night once again. I did good all day, and then I ate steak last night. But then there were some things, again, in my freezer that are not good for me. Eggnog ice cream, number one. Mochis, they're rice flour balls with ice cream in the middle of them. Hubby bought them, didn't like them. I ended up eating them. He didn't like the corn flour or whatever that they roll it in on the outside. It kind of makes it look like a powdered donut, but it's got ice cream in the middle. I actually thought it was delicious, and I like rice flour, and I like rice balls or sesame seed balls or whatever. Can't eat them, though, on keto. Rice is a grain. For anybody who doesn't know, therefore, no grains, no rice. So even though I did that, I still managed to lose 1.6 pounds on the scale, and today I got up with a weight of 229.4 pounds because yesterday I was not even 231. Don't know how I did that, but I did. Uh, I know that I didn't make as many trips to the kitchen. I also know that I did not eat my own teriyaki jerky that I have in there. Um, and, and that's probably like the big culprit. To be honest here, it's got to be the big culprit because when I've eaten my jerky in the past, I found that it was problematic for me. And I would blame it on other things that I also ate. No, I can't have vegetables. I know I can't have my jerky. Neither one of those things are going to be beneficial to me on the scale 9 out of 10 times. And I know this, so I shouldn't have been eating it. But, you know, the little addict inside my head keeps knocking, Yo, you in there? Uh, 
you know, it's the last of the year. You already screwed up this far. Why not one more day? It's not going to hurt you. It's not going to hurt anybody. But it is hurting me. It's hurting me a lot because to know that I was 210 pounds back on November 7th and then see the weight that I've been trickling up, 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 up every day. And, and that's not even trickling. It's been pouring up, up, up um, at a rate that's just like I notice. Look, it takes me a day or two to gain a few pounds. It takes me a week or two to, to lose it. It's just horrible. So while I am capable of losing weight and, um, you know, I'm not having a problem losing weight, the problem that I'm having losing the weight is that I'm not trying. I totally kind of gave up on myself temporarily because I got addicted to the carbs. And then, oh, I said I was going to carb up and it'll be okay because it will help my body reset. Well, maybe it will, maybe it won't. I can't tell you for sure, but that's really not why I was carving up. I was carving up because I was eating garbage. I was being invited over my friend's house and going over there and enjoying and figuring, you know, tomorrow's another day. Tomorrow's another day. But every time I've screwed up and self-sabotaged, I've always said tomorrow's another day. Tomorrow's another day. Anyways, all this crazy stuff going on around me, behind me, that's stressing me out. I know that going into the new year, I need to rid myself of all of it. So, Everything you see behind me, I'm putting this out in the universe now because if I put it out here to you, then I have to do it. So all this stuff that you see here behind me, I'm going to snap my fingers and it's going to be clean. That Well, it's not going to go that easy, but I'm going to do the office. Um, I have one shelf that I need to finish putting together now that I got the clips sent to me. So I'm going to finish that, put that out in the garage, and I'm going to finish cleaning up my garage. And then basically... That's all I really need to do, um, and I will be bringing in the new year with a new clean surrounding, and I can start fresh with what am I going to pack and move with, or what am I going to sell, and um, that's about all I can do. I got some bad news yesterday about a friend who uh, is from my past, um, reason I stopped actually talking to her is because she was married to a jerk, so... You know, she never did me any wrong, but I found out that she had fallen asleep, slipped in a coma, and then wasn't going to come out of it, and so they had to pull the plug. That's not something you want to hear about somebody that you had a like a family kind of thing going with. I was business partners with this person, and, and um, she and me kind of... You know, she was dealing with some things in her marriage, and I knew about them and uh, couldn't do anything about it. You know what I mean? Like, my my say-so wasn't going to matter, and uh, it was what it was. But when I heard the news yesterday, it came from my nephew, and he told me after his mom told him. Because, you know, living family, family is friends with family. Um, so she found out. Because she's still been in touch with these people on Facebook, or Facebook, where I had not. And, and he said, um, "Yeah, mom said that you know so and so passed. I'm not going to say any names or anything because it's not my, it's not my right to. And none of you probably know who they are anyway. So that's neither here nor there. Just know that it was a friend at one time, and <clears throat> it's unfortunate. I feel bad for her, her son. I don't know how he's probably handling it, but um, yeah." That's what went on yesterday. So there's always some kind of thing that's going to be stressing me out. I get that. There's always going to be some kind of thing that's going to be getting me upset and getting my emotions all in a, a bunch like my panties getting a knot, you know, whatever they say. Um, you know, I need to just work on, <clears throat> in 2020, work on trying not to let these things get to me. Now, I'm having really bad issues concentrating right now. Or looking forward or kind of anywhere at this point because I have the worst headache ever. I woke up with it. It must have been from all of the crap that I ate yesterday. Maybe it was the sugar. Maybe it's just a general headache and I need to take something. I am drinking my coffee. I have about 10 ounces of coffee with stevia and heavy whipping cream. I start my mornings out with this every single day and I always have been. I've never had a problem losing weight while drinking my coffee. I'm going to try and eat eggs all day. 
Anyway, guys, I, I want to thank all of my subscribers, my old subscribers, any new subscribers, anybody who's lurking right now and just watching this video. I really want to thank you because without you guys, I probably wouldn't have a reason or, or a need to turn on my camera, start filming some video footage, and just come on here and say, hey, what's up? And if I can help just one person or if I even helped encourage one person to start on any kind of a weight loss journey, let alone uh, a ketogenic lifestyle, then that would make me happy coming into the new year to know that I left this year behind without thinking that I didn't do enough because I really would love to make a footprint on, uh, at least on the people around me. I don't want to say on the world because I'm not, you know, Miss Universe or anything here. <clears throat> but for the people around me, for the people that know me, for the people that are touched in some way when they watch my videos and they stop by and they say hi or they inbox me privately, whatever the case may be, for everybody out there, may you be blessed. May you leave the old in this year of 2019, the last day of 2019, and come into the new year of 2020 with an abundance of blessings galore. That's all I can say. I, I can't find the words enough to say thank you, to say that I love each and every one of you, especially the ones that have reached out and commented to me on a regular. You know who you are. I am blessed beyond my meaning in my mind of what blessings are. I am. I have friends. I have family. I have people who love me and adore me, and I have people who I love and I, I adore. And people who I'm able to fill my life, my soul, my spirit with goodness, with good at heart, with good intentions, with people who really are trying their very best to make a better them, you know, to be a better them, to be a healthier them, and, and, and to just be happy and not let any negativity affect them and to turn those negatives into positives. And that's what I'm trying to bring myself into that type of environment coming into 2020. So I hope that all of you guys are just the same. With that said, be happy, be healthy, be beautiful, but just be you, be the boss of your loss if you're on a weight loss journey. And I'll definitely be seeing each and every one of you guys next year with my next video. <laughs> I love you guys. Thanks for being here for all of December to remember, aka Vlogmas, all the days through. I love you guys. Be blessed. Hey guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't already subscribed, please click the subscribe button down below and be sure to ring the bell so you can be notified of all new videos as I put them out to you, as well as if I go live.